In this lab exercise, we will see how we can automatically restart any service in the event of the failure. I have mentioned all the steps. In the, f in the first step, we will see what is the default behavior of the service. And in the second step, we will modify the service and ask the service to restart every 10 seconds if it's killed forcefully or if there's an abnormal stop for the service. Let's try to see the behavior of Crony D service. <clears throat> this service is running normally. Now let's try to kill it by using the man process ID. Now we'll monitor this service for Crony D dot service let's watch the changes in the service we can see that 20 seconds have passed but the service is still in the failed state so we want to change this behavior of the service so we want the service to restart itself every 10 seconds in the case it's stopped abnormally Now we'll start the service again. Service is back to normal now. Now let's try to modify the service behavior now. We'll create this directory first. And we'll navigate to the same directory. Create a file with any name that should end with .conf extension. Now we need to write these magical lines that are going to change the behavior of the service we are telling the service to restart always and it should wait 10 seconds before restarting now let's reload the system d daemon that will read the new changes in the service now we can see that the new configuration file has loaded from the path that we have just specified. Now let's try to kill it by using the man process ID and we'll keep on monitoring the service status. The expected behavior is that it should restart after 10 seconds. Now we can see that as soon as the 10 seconds have passed, the service is back to the normal conditions.